Welcome to the WASP W3, featuring the latest CDX software that enables a superyacht and its tender to map the sea floor in 3D and in real time to give you a complete picture of the sea floor. Here we are with our superyacht at Administration Bay, Motutapu Island, which is in Auckland, New Zealand. It looks like a beautiful anchorage, and we've decided we want to anchor our superyacht for lunch. The chart says there's 7.3 metres of water in the bay, which looks very good. However, to be sure that it's safe for our yacht, crew and guests, we've sent out our tender equipped with a WASP W3 with CDX to map the bay ourselves instantly and in real time to make sure our chosen anchorage is a safe one. In the bottom picture, we can see the tender is starting to map the bay in 3D and 2D in the top picture. In this scenario, we also have a WASP W3 on our superyacht. So while we stand by on the superyacht safely outside the bay, the tender maps the full bay to see where it's safe for us to anchor for lunch. And we're also mapping outside the bay while we wait. Our superyacht draws three meters, and if we look at our depth cursor, we can see we've found some areas that are less than three meters deep. And if we look over here, we can see it's shallowing out at 3.8 meters with deeper spots around seven to nine meters, which is what the chart told us. So clearly, there are some shallower spots we need to avoid in this area. The good news is, while we stand by, we're fed this information instantly and in real time from the tender to the super yachts bridge. And we can start to see our map of the sea floor building up, which means we get an accurate image of what the sea floor of the bay is really like. From these contour lines, we can see much of the bay is nine meters deep. But there's a very significant rock here, with red showing shallow water and grey showing extremely shallow water. This would be a serious danger to our valuable superyacht if we anchored on top of that. Back on our superyacht, we have a comfortable 10 metres of water under our boat, and we can see a few seafloor undulations and rocks. Our WASP W3 gives us significantly more detail than that shown on the chart. Let's return to where the tender is mapping. We can clearly see another rock on this side of the bay. Now, let's fast forward to the map we have made of the whole bay. And we can see the extreme detail in our WASP mapping. Here we can look at the settings and the chart layers, and we've generated our own bathymetric chart of the whole bay. We can see there's a rather nasty looking rock over here. It's still a beautiful bay to anchor in, and a beautiful place to be but we want to be safe. Importantly, we now know which areas to avoid to ensure we don't have an accidental grounding with our precious superyacht. The WASP W3 with CDX makes the skipper and the officer's job of getting our boat into the perfect anchorage much easier and much safer. We've avoided any incidents and we won't have to move our boat once we're safely at anchor. And if we look here, we're getting a cross-section of this area. So we can see where the shallow areas of three to four meters are and where the deeper areas are. So we get a very clear picture of the shape and structure of the sea floor. Our tender continues to map in 3D and in real time, constantly feeding the information to the super yachts bridge. Now we've decided where the best spot to anchor will be, we can bring our super yacht in and anchor, safely navigating our way into the bay. We can see exactly where the best spot to be is and which areas we should avoid. Our WASP W3 can also show backscatter which gives us an accurate indication of the hardness or softness of the sea floor. In the red areas, the sea floor is hard and rocky. The blue areas are soft and indicate a muddy area. So we can see in shore, the bottom is quite soft, but there is clearly a big rocky area towards the entrance of the bay. And that rocky area starts to get very shallow. On our bathymetric imagery, green areas are the deepest, red areas are shallow, 
and the grey areas are very shallow. And with our 3D map on the bottom screen, we have a very clear, very accurate picture of the sea floor in Administration Bay. And where the perfect and safest place is to anchor our super yacht for lunch, for the night, or for whatever our plans happen to be. Without this valuable information generated by our WASP W3, we could have charged straight into the bay unaware of this rock in the middle, which is clearly a real danger for any vessel drawing three metres or more. But with our WASP W3, we have peace of mind. WASP W3. Explore it all. To find out how you can get a WASP W3 with CDX for your vessel, visit wasp.com.